I live on top of the hill. But every day I go down to the village to buy the food that I'm going to cook that night. Welcome to what's left of the Italian American neighborhood in San Francisco. I'm Johnny, and this is my North Beach. Winter's here, so I'm going to make a uh, chicken and escarole soup. It's really simple. It's absolutely delicious. It'll keep you warm all winter. Uh, in the Italian-American communities, this is sometimes called a um, wedding soup. This is what's going to be our flavor base for the soup. I've got some parsley, some celery, carrots, onion, and garlic. Um, and then back here is the uh, escarole, the scarola that we'll add later. The other flavorings, though, that are going to go into this are, of course, some chicken. And uh, this is uh, ground veal. And I'm going to make up some little uh, tiny meatballs that are going to go in the uh, soup later on. And of course, I got bread soaking over here. Our flavoring cheese is going to be pecorino. We'll start with uh, some carrot. Oops, this one's trying to get away. So now just some celery. You'll notice I left the leaves on down the end of this. They're really very flavorful. And when I'm making soups, I like to include uh, the leaves also. And then uh, just do this in pretty uh, broad slices here. Some extra virgin olive oil, maybe about a tablespoon or so. We'll put in our onion, carrots, and celery. Really, the onion's going to be our major flavor here, but let me just put a little bit of garlic in here also. And we'll put that in to flavor the base of the soup. I like to add the garlic a little bit after, give these other ones a, a head, head start. I just rough uh, chopped some parsley. I'm going to add that to this now. A little salt and pepper for the vegetables, some of the sea salt. Give this another stir. See those, see the deeper color of the olive oil in there? Okay, on this side I've been uh, heating up some water. So now we're gonna just pour this in here to keep the cooking process going. So here's our soup. I'm using chicken breast here. So we'll just put these two in here. We'll put the cover on, and we'll let this simmer away for a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to make the uh, veal meatballs. This is really a very important and special ingredient in this chicken and escarole soup. Uh, the only other flavoring in here is going to be some garlic, some parsley, some pecorino, some stale bread over here that, that I've been soaking just to hold the meatballs together and make them tender. I just pick this up, put it in, and then we'll uh, chop some, some parsley. Get that in. So I'm not going to do this too fine. It's almost there already. And this will go in too. Some sea salt, some freshly ground pepper. I like these a little uh, bit heavy on the pepper. I like that flavor. It'll just add another element to the soup as you're taking a bite of the uh, of the meatball. Get one of those little ones in your mouth. And one egg for binding. Uh, this wet bread it helps tenderize the meatballs also. So I use this when I make uh, popatoni and Italian meatloaf. I use it when I make my other Italian meatballs for Sunday gravy. This panade is really a special ingredient. Some people use uh, breadcrumbs. I don't like breadcrumbs. Okay, so I'm uh, grating some Pecorino Romano here. This is going to be the final ingredient to go into the uh, meatball mixture. Just pick that up and put it right in there. And once we have everything well incorporated, I'll start forming the little meatballs. So we're just taking a little, little bit. We're going to make very small meatballs, just like this. 
They're not those, you know, the gigantic ones you might want with a gravy. And we're just going to roll these together. The soup, is, I think, is at a rapid boil. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. So that chicken's in there. And let's just add, let's add the meatballs. They'll cook pretty quickly. And we'll come back to this. After all the meat's done cooking, we'll skim it off. Okay, so you can uh, see that the soup is reduced a little bit. So we're just going to add our last two ingredients and uh, we'll be ready to taste the soup. So this is the chicken that I used uh, to flavor the broth. I just uh, took it off the bone and broke it up into kind of little pieces. Uh, you don't want them too big because uh, people are going to get a spoonful of this and some other ingredients. and should all fit on that one spoon. And then over here I've got uh, some escarole. So I'm just cutting maybe, you know, one inch ribbons. This is all going to wilt down once it gets in there. Just really, that just really needs to heat up a little bit. And this really is going to cook very quickly. We just want this to wilt. It's a lot of Scott oil. Just want this hot broth to cook this escarole a little bit. These are nice tender leaves. So that's going to be good eating. So here's our uh, chicken and escarole soup, the Italian wedding soup. We have our escarole and our carrots and onions, chicken, and here's those beautiful little meatballs. But I'm just gonna give it a little drizzle over the top, just to add that fresh, oh, look at that, olive oil flavor. So I like a lot of the, the flavor of the pecorino, so I'm gonna use this bigger grate here to finish mine. Some people like to use the smaller one. I like to get a good amount of these slivers. You get a little of that, a little sweetness of the carrot. I'm going for the meatball. Uh, let's see here. Mm. Wow. The meatball, the veal meatball is flavorful. Really very tender. Mm. Nice light chicken broth. A little bit of a crunch from the escarole. This is just a delicious soup. Italian chicken and escarole soup, the Italian wedding soup. Bon appetito, keep warm this winter, make this soup. Okay, it's a wrap, that's it.